Hello everyone and welcome. Here I designed and 3D printed this little birdhouse. I will leave a link in the info box below for the print file. And I am showing you here how I sanded the little hole to be a tiny bit bigger for my, um, what you call this, eye pen or head pen. It's a head pen. And I just glued the head pen on the back side of this front piece and cut it into the length that I wanted to so the birds have something to sit on. It goes like this. I decided to make some roof uh, shingles and for that I wanted a piece of paper making a straight line and I am using this um, uh, actually I think I'm taking the smaller one of these uh, oval shapes I'm lining that up with the line and then just drawing half of it on and I'm doing that over and over And I am making a line a bit over my first line here. Just make the line and then I am going to cut this out uh, into a strip. So I'm cutting down the line I just made. Oh, and this is uh, a thicker paper. I think it was 160 gram. So I'm cutting off with the wider line here, just like I show you here. And then I am going to cut out these shingles just like this. And I am going to make enough for this little birdhouse. And these are fitting the house with first two and then three of these um, roof shingles thingies. And I am gluing that onto the house with tacky glue. That is going to uh, hold on very good on the plastic, so it's not a problem. So first I am placing the first two here and I'm letting them go uh, over the edge a tiny bit. Cutting off three of these, two, three, two and three. So now I am gluing on a piece with three on, so that they are not sitting uh, aligned but like this makes it look really good and then I just continue doing that on both sides of the roof For the top part of the roof, I made these shingles on both sides of one of these pieces here and I am going to bend it on the middle, just like this. And I am going to glue that on top of the little uh, house here and just place that into the glue and wait for it all to dry. When the glue is all dry, I am taking my X-Acto knife and I am cutting all the rest of this little shingles thingy off the little house so that the roof is looking really, really nice. I am using my olive green Vallejo paint here and I'm using this one because I want the roof of this little birdhouse to look like copper so I'm starting with the green and I'm just gonna paint the roof itself underneath and on the sides um, under the um, inside there and on the back side of the house as well. Thank you. 
I know I 3D printed this in a white um, PLA, but I am going to use my white Vallejo paint here and paint everything that needs to be white, white again. Remember the back side and the front of the birdhouse. You can use another color if you rather wanted another color. Then I am going to take my black Vallejo. Uh, always give it a good shake before you use it. Take a little on my painter palette here. And I am going to uh, paint the um, inside here of the birdhouse. And I'm only uh, painting the back wall. And here you can see the difference when you look through the little hole. When it's black inside, it's more um, interesting and deep to look into than without the black. Then I am just taking a tiny bit of my super glue and gluing the front part of the birdhouse. I am taking my pen pastel here and I am going to use the copper that I have. And I am putting that on the top of the birdhouse on the roof here to make it look like a uh, copper. I am just rubbing it in all over the roof here and making it look really nice. You can do even more if you want to. I am giving it a tiny bit with my Vallejo glaze. This is a matte glaze, but it always turns out a tiny bit shiny, even though that it is super matte. If you want to decorate your little birdhouse a tiny bit, you can use some of these nail art decals, water decals. So I'm just taking the wrapper of it and placing a bit of water on the paper leaving it there for a few seconds and then you can slide off the little picture and place it wherever you want to and i am going to place it on the little birdhouse i decided to age my little birdhouse a bit and as you see, I got a little too much of the black into my water mix. Um, to make the aging, I am mixing a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black with uh, quite a lot of water. And then I am placing it on where I want to age and then removing a tiny bit of it with my uh, towel here. And um, it's better to do it uh, light at first and then build it up then getting too much on there and trying to take it off like I had to do here but you will have to try what uh, works for you and there you have a done birdhouse I had a lot of fun with this I hope you will have as well find the link in the info box below thank you for watching and happy crafting subscribe